So to edit um, a prototype for Bent Steel, what you're going to want to do is open up Pure AutoCAD. Wait for it to load. I don't know why it's taking so long. Once you're there, you want to click Open Files. Let me show you how to get there. Click on the. We're going to go to the installation. Um, so you're going to click on your uh, C drive. Click on Program Data. Autodesk. Advanced Still 2016. Shared. Support. Prototypes. Let's just go back here real quick. So you see right here. Um, I made a backup file. And I'm, I recommend always, absolutely always make a backup file for uh, before you do any sort of adjustments to your uh, prototypes. Uh, just because you mess something up, you can always go back. So, the original. You'll see right here that I have a 16 or a 1 added. That's just because I need something custom to it. Uh, so when you change something, um, you can add a little something to the end of it, but yeah. So we're going to go to uh, uh, B1 because I haven't done anything on that one yet. <coughs> and you'll see right here the uh, uh, detail page opened up for you. So I always like to check my, prop my layers. Um, you want to be on zero for this. So you see that little green tick mark? That's how you know you're on zero. You can always just do this. Um, Set current and then close. Okay, we're going to click on the title block, go to block editor. Uh, close that, that's not important. Click on that logo and erase. Now you're going to open up paint. Um, that's where you have your logo stored. Open your logo on paint and then copy it. To do that, you're going to do Control-A, right-click, copy. Back into AutoCAD, right-click, clipboard, paste. Okay, that's not important. So, we're going to click Cancel on that. Okay. So, you see it's pretty large. We'll open that up. And click on that, and then click on Properties. Aspect Ratio, we want that to be No. So, it's not locked anymore. Okay. doesn't work for you, we can always do paste special, which is what you should have done in the first place, what I should have done in the first place. We're going to click on the first uh, option, leave that there. Okay. Try and just try and scale it down to a, a usable size. And move it. Okay, we're getting there. Alrighty. I'll move it one more time. Just below there. Alrighty. Now, click 
click on the image and unlock the aspect ratio. So now we can just uh, trim to there. And move it on up to the east side. <laughs> See what I did there. Put it right there. numbering by doing this. Click on draw a number. And you'll see right here position number and position mark. Um, I'll just leave that there for a second. And I'll pause you one more time. Sorry. Okay, so find tokens, you can go to this link right here. I'll put it in my uh, uh, video, my video description. And these are title block um, tokens. So I'm going to change position number from piece mark from object because I like my page numbers to be uh, drawn numbers. So we're going to click on, well, I'm not going to click on that. We're just going to say, Drawing underscore no is draw number. So we'll go back to here. We're going to type in drawing underscore no. I'm just going to say draw number. Be sure because they like this program really likes capitals. So drawing space number, okay. Click okay. Now Let's see, checker. Alrighty. And now what we can do is close the block. You can save it, absolutely never rename it. Just click save to hyperscale page header. Okay, and there's that. Um, now, you'll see that the, uh, the drawing itself is, it, it leaves a lot of paper, and a lot of room to be desired for your paper. So, what you can do with that is also open that block editor. Just to that if you want. Um, anyway, so we're just going to proceed. So we'll save that. And now we can open this and edit it in advanced steel. So I'm going to pause the program real quick. And Perfect. So now that we have advanced steel open, we're going to go to uh, output. Click on Edit Prototypes, and we're going to choose the prototype that we just uh, edited. We just configured, so we'll do B1, open that up. Okay, so now you're going to see that you have all these additional uh, uh, title blocks, well, the material, title block, etc. <clears throat> so, we're going to click on this, and you see down here, um, these are all of your options for your lists. I made one, 
try and click on that. Now. Okay, so I save that and exit that drawing. Now let's open up a getting rid. So I'm going to do an ISO view and show you how much it is actually. This beam right here. Okay. So you see right here, here's our title button. Made. Okay. It's your part detail. I'm going to enable clipping, because those are pretty big. Click OK. That was in dimensions. Rearrange all details, just to straighten things up. And there you go.